The reason I've so often requested that sprite mods not be used online is due to a concept known as desync. Yet, it seems some are still unfamiliar with what it is or how it functions. As such, I've created this addendum to the guide for That's Cool to further elaborate on it. Essentially, desync occurs when two players in the same match end up in two different states of play, i.e. something is happening for one player where something else is happening for another. The individual on the left is using the normal realm for the game, where the individual on the right is using the one with alterations made to the sprites. The game desynced within less than two minutes, though, depending on the alterations made, this may take more or less time. Though, of course, what likely matters most to you all is the capability of preventing them. And while this process isn't guaranteed, without taking into account all that follows, your ROM is all but guaranteed to desync. When exporting sprites from That's Cool, you'll notice these little boxes around the sprites. These can essentially be thought of as the bounds for the sprite, and you must make whatever images you plan to inject fit within them as closely as possible. With the sprites made to match said parameters, you must then obviously import the sprites over the character you're planning to replace, and, most importantly, you must use the base group. In short, this makes the imported sprites match the boundaries of the original, with anything exceeding said bounds being cut off. And finally, before replacing the sprites and exporting the final product, you must first check two parameters, CRAM size and number of tiles. The values on the original must be identical to those on the new sprites for every single one. With all the above steps completed, you must now test your ROM for desync. You'll need a mix of both short and long sets, with at least one of them being an extremely long one, to guarantee that there is no possibility of desync. For said set, two hours is the minimum acceptable amount of time, though it's recommended to go longer if possible. It's also recommended to test said sprites against every member of the cast. In order to test, you'll need one person to have the modified ROM, and the other to have the normal ROM for the game. Giving both players the same ROM would achieve nothing in this case, since you wouldn't be testing for desync. That constitutes everything that's necessary to create sprite mods that don't desync. I still advise against sharing ROMs, for you can never be too safe, but if it's proven beyond a shadow of a doubt to not desync, then I'll leave it to your better judgment to decide what to do.